This video will show you how to combine the feedback for multiple reviewers into one Word document. On the screen, you see a proposal I've sent out to my project team. Each team member has revised the document using Word's Track Changes feature. I would now like to combine all their feedback into one document so it will be easier to review their comments and make changes. Because this process is a type of review, all the options I need will be under the Review tab. I want to compare multiple versions of the document, so I will click on the Compare icon for a drop-down menu. I want to combine multiple revisions of a document, so I will select the Combine option. The first step is to select the original document. I can use the drop-down list to select the original proposal document. If I do not see my original document in the drop-down menu, I will click on the File Folder icon and browse for the appropriate file. Here, I also have the option to label unmarked changes with a different name. For now, I will leave that option with the default. With my original document selected, I now need to select the revised document to merge into it. Once again, I can select my document from a drop-down list. If my teammate has recently emailed me the file, it is unlikely to be in the drop-down list and I will have to browse for it. Once again, I can choose how to label unmarked changes from this document. I'll leave that on the default for now. If you do not see the extended menu, click on the More Less icon at the left of the screen. Making selections on the Comparison Settings menu leads to a less cluttered combined document. Under the Comparison Settings, Insertions and Deletions is automatically selected for you. Other options for comparison include changes to location of text, formatting, case, white space, tables, headers, footers, foot and endnotes, text boxes, and fields. I'm in the early stages of editing my proposal, so I want to see comments and case changes. I'll make sure those are selected. I'm not worried about formatting yet, so I will unselect formatting. Tracking formatting changes can track a lot of clutter into your combined document. It doesn't matter if I select tables, headers, footers, or text boxes because my document does not contain them. I recommend showing changes at the Word level in a new document. Showing changes in a new document will allow you to retain your original copies of everything. Click OK and your documents will be merged. Many windows may pop up. The computer is showing you the original documents, the combined document, and the reviewing pane. The reviewing pane lists every change and comment in the combined document next to the name of the person who made it. I find this screen hard to read. Since I've combined my documents and all the changes, I don't need to see the originals. Near the Compare option that started this process is the Show Source Documents option. I'll click on the icon, select Hide Source Documents from the drop-down menu. Now all I see on my screen is the combined document. Some people find the reviewing pane distracting. You can temporarily remove it from the screen or move it to the bottom through the reviewing pane menu. Next to the Reviewing Pane menu is the Balloon menu. Using this menu, you can choose to see comments in balloons on the side of the screen or in line with the rest of the document. Note how my combined document has a new name. I should save this new document to preserve the changes. So far, I have merged two of the documents from my team members. Now I will need to repeat the combining process to bring in the additional revisions. The process will be a little easier this time. While viewing my combined document, I once again go to the Compare menu and select Combine. This time I want to select my original document to be my combined document. 
I'll select my original document from the drop-down list. I will have to browse for a second team member's document to merge in. I will double check the settings on the Comparison Settings menu are what I want. They should be the same as last time. I want my team members revisions to show up in the combined document I'm looking at. So I will select Show Changes in Original Document since my original document is now the combined document. Click OK and the documents will merge. I will now repeat the combining process to include revisions from the remaining team members. Now I have a document with the combined feedback of all my team members. With all the markup, it should be easy to spot places to make changes. For example, I have two typos in the first line that need to be changed. As I scroll down, I notice that three different team members have commented on a cost quote. This tells me I should probably reconsider it. From here, you can begin making edits to the document and incorporate your team's feedback.